let's jump into I know our newest our new segment here. I missed I missed his first one last week, but uh, Martin's back with us um, to talk about meta tag. Thanks, John. Yeah, so this week we're going to be talking a little bit more about the meta tag module. It was actually previously covered as a module of the week way back in episode 70, which is over eight years ago. It's also mentioned in episodes 31, 46, 137, and 185. As, as we'll talk about a little later, it's because it's that pervasive as a Drupal module. It really allows your Drupal site to provide meta tags on content that is going to implement SEO best practices and really maximize the online findability of your content. The module was originally created in 2009 and currently has supported versions for Drupal 7, 9, and 10. The most recent release was on September 29th of this year, and it's in use by over 375,000 websites. Uh, the maintainers wow. are the renowned Dave Reed and Damian McKenna, both of which um, support dozens of high profile and extremely valuable Drupal modules. And really, meta tag, um, the, the core capability is around allowing content editors to populate sort of common and sometimes uncommon meta tags, either you know, manually for each individual piece of content or to have them filled out programmatically using tokens. Now, there are also a wide variety of sub modules to address different kinds of use cases where meta tags can be helpful. So to uh, make it easier for social sharing, to verify site ownership, so such as yeah. with uh, Google Search Console, and really a variety of other kinds of use cases. And really for any, any site that considers SEO a priority, which is probably most public facing websites, setting up meta tags should really be one of the, you know, the first things that you think about in terms of really optimizing your website. So given how widely used meta tag is, Thought I'd open this up to to the rest of the group here. Does anyone have specific experience with using meta tag that they'd be interested in talking about? Oh yeah, I think I think we've all used meta tag. I think one of the really one of the things that really makes it stand out is how quickly it's always an early adopter, both of new platforms. Like if there's a new social media platform that has something specific, meta tag probably has a helper module for that. But it's also one of the first modules to always update to the newest version of Drupal. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they were one of the first to get to Drupal 10. They were definitely one of the first to get to Drupal 8. Um, so it's, and, and it has so much in there that it's a good place to look for examples on how to, you know, if, you, if you're maintaining a module, it's a good one to look at for examples on how to upgrade for the next version. And if you have any questions around using MetaTag, Damien McKenna is, is often in the Drupal SEO channel and Drupal Slack as well. Yeah, I'm always continually impressed at how extensible meta tag is. If there is not a module for it, it's easy enough to kind of build your build your own or, or you know, to be able to extend it to the way that you need to. Um, but uh, typically it has a ton of features, right? You don't have to extend it, but amazing. I was going to say, as uh, as a creative director, one of the things that, that I notice is when, you know, a site is getting towards the end, when it's getting close to launch and people start sharing links to like production environments. That's when I start saying, have you installed the meta tag module yet? Because I don't see any images. I don't see any meta information. Like, can we get that in there? Can we start working on that? Um, making sure um, that our websites are being shared appropriately, because part of a website's experience today in our, our overly social world is the link previews that everything has. And when you don't have a good link preview, you know, that, yeah. that I don't know, it kind of sells so, yourself self short. So uh, I will share a funny and embarrassing story about <laughs> New England Drupal camp. So awesome. this is this is the, the ninth year, I believe, of the conference. And um, just this year, we we installed meta tag or maybe configured it. Maybe it was already there um, to actually show previews when people shared people's session links, like a little preview card with more information on it. Um, and, you know, shout out to Stephen Cross and, and Rick Hood for uh, implementing that and doing a great job doing it. And um, yeah, I mean, it does make a world of difference, especially in the uh, in the world of of, of events. 
Yeah, I think using the, there's a schema.org meta tag module that is sort of similar in terms of really optimizing for voice search. So definitely the best practice there as well. Well, yeah. that makes me wonder, is, is the schema.org meta tag submodule part of meta tag or part of schema.org? Because both Jacob and Damien have the same philosophy on submodules. There's a million of them. <laughs> I think that one is actually a standalone project, but. Uh, oh, interesting. All right, Martin, thank you for that. Uh, we appreciate your time as always. Let's jump in to our primary topic.